So can I come in? <laughs> Hi everyone, so I'm making a video with a funny background of the dogs chasing each other. Look, they're doing laps. <laughs> anyway, so today I want to talk about a video that's like close to my heart and that is um, it's living life with a sense of perspective that your body is temporary. Your body is temporary, okay? And so is your life. Like, your life is temporary, your body is temporary. And when you realize the temporariness of your loved ones and your body vehicle and your home or your, your bicycle or your car, your partner, your brothers and sisters, and your parents and your children, you can appreciate them more. And your animals, of course. Like, so not, not only do you appreciate things more, but you don't get attached to things more. And when you don't get attached to things, that's when you can really love more and appreciate more. Because when you're attached to a person or a thing, fear of loss and control to keep and lying or manipulating and that type of behavior can come in where you suppress an individual to try and keep them because you're attached and you need them so like Osho says your ability to be alone as a person is your ability to be to love based on what I just said so in this video I want to talk about what would you do if you knew you were going to die soon so like if you knew you only had a few months to live, like let's say three to six months, what would you do? Where would you go? And with whom would you spend your time with? So if you ask yourself these questions, I really feel you can <laughs> you can choose better choices for yourself in life now before you die in many years to come. Because you're gonna focus in on what's most important and true to your heart and what's true in your heart. What, what you're passionate and excited about. So for me, for example, what I'd do, I'd, I'd wanna go, I'd wanna, what would I do? I'd do what I'm doing, I'd keep making these type of videos, okay? To help people. i try and like uplift or help the world in some sense. Um, I would enjoy my life more. I'd spend, maybe spend my time in nature. And I'd, Who would I spend my time with? It would be my loved ones and my, my family, um, my partner. So my closest people and my, my closest loved ones and my partners who I'd spend my time with. Where would I go? I'd go to Ireland to spend some of my time there because that's where my family are and my mum and my closest, my closest people. I'd go with my partner if she, if she wants to come. <laughs> I'd want to see some of Japan where my partner's from and her parents and stuff. Um, I'd want to spend time with my best friends, some of my best friends and my family members. And I'd, I'd also go to Thailand because I'm interested in the durians and tropical weather and swimming in the sea and just having summer. So that's what I do, basically speaking. That's the, the majority of what I do. So like, I don't, I wouldn't, what I wouldn't do, to give you more perspective, I wouldn't want to spend my time with people who are like negative or downers or like mean to me or unfriendly, you know? I wouldn't want to be in any type of abusive relationship. Uh, I wouldn't accept like really mean behavior like what would you do if you had like three to six months to live? It's a good question to ask yourself so you try and focus on what's really the most important and truest in your heart and life and and that's what I think is I do and that's what I think is a good question instead of because most of us like to flip it a little bit most of us like waste our time doing stuff we hate or don't like we do stuff we're not interested in don't do the things we're really passionate about or love to do often enough we, like you know dance swim i not just nice quality loving energy people massage go for walks spend time with your lovely animals <laughs> animals and nature are huge healers that are totally free uh, and what else you can go over here and most of us also like betray our truth by just spending time with people we don't either like or just we don't love a lot or we don't resonate with. And we don't do activities like like years ago when I was 20 or a much younger teenager, I'd go to some parties, but then I just gave that up because in the end I didn't like the smoking and all the fancy fake like flirtation and posing and throwing shapes and all this like physical focus instead of like inner focus 
hardly any in focus, all the physical, like surface level stuff. So I just stopped and I didn't like smoke, it's bad for your lungs, makes it stink. So I didn't go night clubbing, didn't like all like to drink anymore. I did for a tiny little bit, but then I just didn't like the whole drink scene, you know, the whole flirtatious, like surface level intoxicated scene. So I just quit and I didn't care if people wanted me to go, I just didn't want to go anymore. So that's all I want to say in this video, guys. I hope give you a sense of perspective so some of my work that I do in the world that I love is like clarity coaching or passion like perspective or clarity coaching giving helping healing and clarity of the mind and the heart and so you can have clarity in life so you can have a lovely life so I hope to help you so if you want one-to-one -one help for you or your loved ones or your family or friends please give me a contact below and check in my herb shop also for your physical prosperity and thriving in life so we all love each other here, okay? We all love each other in life. You and your loved ones and me and these guys. And uh, just remember to, to take care of yourself and each other. And everything's going to be okay. We're all trying our best here and life is hard at times. So go easy on yourself and go easy on other people. And have patience and love for yourself and other people. And see you again in another video. Lots of love. And subscribe if you're new and of course thanks for sharing and liking the video everybody i'll see you again another time many blessings bye thank you thanks to the izumi the recorder thanks for the recorder <laughs>